Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can create your own online course using Versal, which you can find at versal.com. I'm already signed into my account and I selected the Create tab. Now let's create a course. And we're going to use the clean slate or the blank slate to create our course. And now the first thing I need to do is give my course a title. So I'm going to go up here and hover over the pencil icon next to Untitled Course and title my course. Let's call it U.S. History. And now we're going to create our first lesson. So again, let's hover over the Untitled Lesson, click the pencil icon, and let's say Prelude to Revolution. And now over here on the canvas, we can drag any one of these gadgets that we like. We can see we have videos, quizzes, maps, slideshows. We even have a whiteboard that we can use to draw if we need to. I'm going to add a video. I'm going to drag the video up. And now I'll just copy in a link from YouTube that I found earlier. Prelude to Revolution. And select use file. Now over here on the right hand side I can add a little message about the video and say I might say something like you may need to rewind this video a couple of times as the content moves quickly. Now let's go ahead and add another lesson. So again here, we'll title the lesson and we'll call it Prelude to Revolution Part 2. And this time I'm going to drag in some text. And in this case, I'm going to have my students do a little reading from Thomas Paine, so I'm just going to grab some of the text of Thomas Paine's Common Sense here. I want them to read the first three paragraphs or so there. Let's paste in that text. And I might need to put in some paragraph breaks for my students, so let's go ahead and do that if we need to. And again, I can go over on the right-hand side and say something to the effect of, um, you know, if you have trouble with the vocabulary, please see me after class or during office hours. Now let's say I'm happy with my course so far. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And I can add a cover image for my course if I want to. You can see right now this course is in draft. I haven't published it yet. I can go back and edit this at any point. Before I publish this, of course, I need to add a little description of my course. Let's say this is a, a short introduction to U.S. history, beginning with the origins of revolution. Right. Now let's go in and fill in some more information on the overview of my course. This is a course about U.S. history. The goal of the course is to help students understand the struggles of the 
first 100 years of U.S. history. And put some tags in there. Let's call it history. We might say social studies. We might say U.S. history. There we go. We can fill in about me and say. Developer of the course is a high school social studies teacher. And now let's go back to our course management tab and we can publish our course. Now with a free virtual account, your course has to be public for anyone on the web to participate in. If you upgrade to a premium account, you can make your course private. And let's go ahead and publish this. And so my course is now live. And if I want to embed my course into, let's say, my classroom blog or my school website, I can grab the embed code there, and that will allow me to embed the content of my course, including all the lessons that I create, and including the lessons that I go back in and add later. So let's say I need to edit this. Let's go in and edit the course. So now we're back into editing the content of the course. Let's say we want to add a new lesson here. So I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to click the edit button and we'll say Prelude to Revolution Quiz. And let's go ahead and drag in the quiz gadget. And now we can go in and add as many quiz questions as we like. Let's say significance of Thomas Paine's work was it brought to light injustice in government say all of the above. And if we don't want the other answer choices, we can delete them. And we can even fill in uh, or leave it as a fill in the blank for our students. Go ahead and get rid of that. You can Again, you can add as many questions as you like throughout. When I'm happy with that, I can go in and I can say to my students, well, I want to add another lesson. And we'll call this Outbreak of Revolution. And we'll repeat the process again. And for now, let's finish the course. And anyone who's been viewing the course will see the latest content of the course when they go back to, to view it again. So that's a short overview of how you can create your own online courses using Versal, which you can find at versal.com. For more ideas like this, check out freetech4teachers.com.